everybody. This is Sherlock and Helsing from the Gaming. Welcome back to Mafia 2 chapter 15. Per aspera ad astra. I don't know what that means, honestly. I really don't. I haven't learned the Latin. That's cool. I couldn't sleep. Things were bad. Final chapter. And they were only gonna get worse. Finally. The truth is gonna come out sooner or later. And then we were gonna have Falcone after us along with the Chinese and Vinci. This wasn't how I imagined it when we were starting out. I dreamed of money, cars, women, respect, freedom. I guess I ended up getting all that, more or less. But along with it came prison, living in constant fear, and the blood of my oh, friends. Oh, we remember that. I ducked it as long as I could, but it was finally catching up with me. It was all just a matter of time. And the phone rings for one last time. I don't know, I don't remember how long this final chapter is. Uh, it's really gonna be just one long episode. Yeah, hello. Vito. Yeah, it's Eddie. Uh, listen, I need you to... Let me guess. You need me to come by right away, and I should bring a gun. For once, I don't. <laughs> uh, Carla wants to see you over at the planetarium. Did he say what it was about? No. Nope. Uh, better head over there now, though. Uh, don't want to keep the man waiting. <laughs> yeah, see you, Vito. Hmm. Meet Carlo. What are we going to wear? Yeah, the casual suit. For one last time. We're gonna look very smart. And it rains. Usually it doesn't happen. <coughs> Mr. Scaletta. Can you get in, please? Sure. Hey, old man, what are you doing back? Just get in the damn car. Now. Yes, pissed. And you are? This is our friend, Mr. Chu. Probably Chinese. All right, so what the hell's going on? What is this? This is about you. You fucked up good, didn't you? Started a fucking war. Got no idea what you're talking about. Don't fuck with me, boy. I've probably forgotten more about this business than you'll ever learn. Half our guys are dead, half of Mr. Chu's guys are dead, and now the feds are breathing down everybody's necks because of you. Leo, listen. You listen. If it wasn't for me, you would have already been taken care of. So you're gonna listen to what I have to say, and you're gonna listen good. Mm. What you did in Chinatown. That was because of that cocksucker Henry, right? You know who he was working for when he died? You mean when he was butchered? He was working for the feds. He was a fucking rat. That's why Mr. Chu's people did what they did. And that's why the feds are going after Carlo now. Hmm. But I don't forget my friends, Vito. You did for me, so I did for you. I called in a few favors. Lucky like bastard. Got you one chance to make this right. Okay, I'm listening. You're gonna get rid of Carlo. Do us all a favor. And if I refuse? You die. Frank and the rest of the Easy. commission want you dead. So does Mr. Chu. And to top it all off, you vouched for a rat. You think Carlo's gonna let that slide? You're a dead man walking. <sighs> when? Now. Every minute we wait is another minute we give to the feds. He's holed up at that observatory of his. You know, something's up. Carlo Falcone is a lot of things, but stupid ain't one That's of them. That's what you think. All right. Stop the car. Remember, kid, this is your last chance. Whew! Oh wow! A large firearm. You know what? Fuck it. Roger that. Suspect is about six feet tall. We don't have time to lose. Oh boy! Oh boy! Everything is going to shit. But this is the end. Finally. Finally, it's the ending of the game. We're gonna go to the observatory. And we're gonna finish this once and for all. Now that now that we're going to the observatory actually 
I think there are many places in this city <coughs> Ooh, sorry that we've actually never been to and that's kind of a shame because this whole area of the game you know the hills with the nice villas we've been here only once no twice when we dumped the body and when we saved the Leo because otherwise we've never been here for a mission and that's a shame there are plenty of pretty places that you never ever visit in the game and there are actually supposed to be side missions in this game actual side missions like in a GTA or something but they had to delete them in order to develop a more story focused game and to release it earlier if also I'm not mistaken because I also have the director's cut the box set of the game and in the map that comes with it, in the game map, there are actually um, small icons of uh, side missions that aren't in the game. Oh well. <coughs> At least the ending is kinda epic. Okay, so let's check every weapon, reload. Reload all the reloadable. Hey, fellas. Hey, Vito. The boss wants to see you. Good. I want to see him mm. too. One, uh, one thing though, Vito. I gotta take your gun. Oh. Yeah. All right. Here you go. Nice. Badass, Vito. Now we're gonna have to avoid dying in this section. It ain't easy. Fuck me. Oh, reload. Yeah, reload. Recover yourself, health. Nice. Okay, you should be dead. <coughs> oh man, so healthy today. Switch to the Thompson. So they all had Thompsons apparently, okay. Ow. Can I actually see through this now? Shame. Intense gunfights. And that's something that they really do like, however, of the shooting. It's a hard game, but it feels very personal. Like every guy can kill you. Come on. Sweet headshot. Yeah. Fucker. <coughs> Holy shit. How'd she die on me, boy? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're good to go.
So lucky, so lucky. He was actually kind of pissed off for a second there. He's like, ah! Oh. What the? Are there actually guys on the roof? I thought I saw someone. Oh yeah, oh yeah! Did it work out? Wow, I'm amazed. <coughs> oh, huh. that should have been the last of them, right? Maybe there's something down here, you know, a Playboy magazine, the last Playboy magazine, no, nothing, okay, kinda disappointed in that, but still, save, oh wow, thank god it's saved, so freaking intense, or oh, maybe there's something upstairs, you never know, Open, close the roof. Like, what is this? Honestly, this means jack shit, but you can do it. Why? I don't know. I guess it's all for nothing, but still. Oh shit! The, the throwing is not a great, I have to say. They were bugging out for a little bit. I like the destruction in this level. Whew. Okay. There has to be another guy, yeah. This is the pure definition of cover shooting. I do inject shit other than shooting from cover. <laughs> but it is intense, I can't deny that. It's coming. Woohoo! Fuck you. He's gonna. Oh! Close one. <laughs> Shotgun blast will fuck you up. We've already seen that multiple times in this playthrough. What? I don't even know who that guy was. Fuck him, nonetheless. Who was this guy? Yeah, no one. It was a nobody, a, a no one, nobody. <clears throat> wow, look who it is. Mm. This is where they send? This is an insult. What'd they tell you, Nito? Take care of me and all's forgiven? You really think they're just gonna let you walk after everything you yep. did? Then again, chumps like you never do think about the big picture. Big picture. But your buddy Joe understands, don't you, Joe? What the fuck is this? I could ask you the same question. Well, she's a funny thing, huh, Vito? No such thing as friendship in this business. 
Didn't your old pal Leo teach you that while you're sucking his cock back in the can? <laughs> you're just a fucking pawn, Vito. It's all you ever were. When are you gonna realize Joe, that? you just gotta trust me. You think I give a shit about the feds? All those tired old fucks on the commission? They're using you, Vito. Just like Clemente used you. Just like I used you. Just like that rat fuck Henry used you. Oh. You vouched for that piece of shit. Brought him into my house. And now you dumb fuck. You're gonna We pay didn't know about that. It's now, not our Joe. fault. Not entirely our fault. Hey. If you're gonna pull that trigger, do it already. Oh. What are you waiting for? But Joe is a good Vito. friend. Let's shoot this cocksucker. Remember what we talked about, Joe. You're gonna throw One. all that away? Do it! Two. Now! You should have killed him! You stupid fuckers. <laughs> And this has to be the hardest shootout of the entire fucking game. God damn it, somebody kill these two psychos! You dumb bastard, you don't stand a chance! You can't kill them all! Oh, yes, I can. And I will. You really are insane, aren't you? I'm going to enjoy watching you die. Come on already! There's only two of them! Change weapon. You know something, Carlo? Oh, God. For the last ten years, all I've done was kill. I killed for my country. Ah. I killed for my family. Ah. I killed anybody that got in my way. But this one... This one's for me. Fuck. Nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that freaking rag, though. So out of place. I sure as hell hope you know what you're doing here. No more. Took nice. care. You'll see. So, uh, what was he talking about back there? Nothing. He made me an offer. That's all. Yeah, I figured out that much. What kind of offer? He wanted me to whack you. Said he'd make me a capo. Give me my own crew. You know, pretty much everything I ever wanted. Yeah. So why the hell didn't you do it? Remember that five bucks you owe me? Oh, he's not going to finish the sentence? Okay. Oh, he made a joke. Five bucks, yeah. What the hell is this? It's all right, Joe. Is it done? It's done. All right, then. Looks like a celebration is in order. Come on. Let's head to the cat house. Sounds good to me. Come with me, Vito. There's more we need to talk about. All right, we'll see you over there. So what's the big secret? Oh! Hey, hey, what the hell's going on? Where are they taking Joe? The jacket is glitching. Sorry, kid. Joe wasn't part of our deal. Oh! Poor Joe. Poor guy.
You guys are satisfied? It's finished! Ah, <sighs> credits? Credits. Nice. Oh, copyrighted music. No, even though it's good music, but still. Mafia 2! This was a weird experience because I wanted to make this walkthrough because I remember this game so freaking well. So well. And I loved it. And it was honestly my top 20 games of all time. Favorite games of all time. It was very important when I was growing up five years ago. It does not hold up all that well. I mean, it's uh, more on that gameplay side. Because, yeah, I remember that there wasn't an actual open world. But, damn, it's far too frustrating with the checkpoint system. And the driving is pretty bad. I've seen a lot of people complaining about the Just Cause driving in the Just Cause games. I actually don't mind that because you actually have other ways to navigate through the map with grappling hooks, uh, wingsuits. Here, not really. It's either by foot or by car. And it's not all that polished in my opinion. The story is very good. It is very good. Even though a couple of sequences are not written all that greatly, it's not as memorable as I, rem as I remembered it when I first played it. But it was still pretty damn solid in my opinion. Written by Daniel Vavra. Nice one. And uh, honestly, I'm satisfied with what I got again, but it's not nearly as great as I remembered it. I will make a review of it, a more in-depth review of it, now that I finally finished the game. Woo! So guys, in the comments below, as always, there is a link to a straw poll for my next walkthrough. And I will actually do two walkthroughs. I will start making a walkthrough of another game, probably Max Payne 2, Spec Ops The Line, uh, and other two games, I don't remember which one, you have to choose between one of them. And then I also want to start playing the Metal Gear games, Metal Gear Solid specifically. <laughs> but I don't know what to do, do I want to play them chronologically? I mean from Metal Gear Solid 3 to Metal Gear Solid Revengeance, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, whatever. Or should I play them in release order? So from Metal Gear Solid on PS1 to Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain? It's your time to choose. So guys, remember to vote that in the description below to choose the next walkthroughs. Thanks for watching, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And thank you for watching this very long walkthrough. Most of your wife's girlfriends. Bye.